again guys and welcome to new heretical quality, which I promised. So let's talk about Chaos Space Marines. In lore, Chaos Forces consist of many different types of troops, let's say. For example, Chaos Space Marines, Demons and, well, humans in many different forms. From Blood Pact and Ex-Imperial Guard to simple mad civilian. Chaos Space Marines come from legions, chapters and even primaries if I remember correctly. In game they are quality faction, again free for models with heavy infantry armor. But they also have heretics, cheap 8 model squad, which is great for taking sniper fire and stuff like that. Like loyalists they have expensive and durable units and vehicles. Default units are a bit worse than their loyal counterparts, but they have great upgrades and these upgrades make them very flexible. Both their basic units can be great melee units or range units. The same goes for Dreadnought and Predator has free upgrades. Noise Marines can be upgraded to artillery. Of course this also means that they are even more expensive. Uniquely, they also have a lot of passive units, especially Chaos Space Marines as basic unit has no ability at all. This is good and bad at the same time. Good because your units are solid, they do well all the time. But at the same time they are predictable and cannot do anything surprising pretty much. Abilities sometimes do nothing and sometimes do everything, they change the battle itself. Chaos also has unique ability called Warship. Depending on hero you choose, it can increase your unit's speed, health regeneration or it can infiltrate them. All of them also heals demons and buffs their energy regeneration. This isn't a big problem, but in my opinion Chaos also lacks some uh, first line range infantry. Heretics, Havocs and Noise Marines use specialized weapons and they are not very durable. And Plague Marines should be used only as anti-vehicle or melee unit. So your only choice are Chaos Space Marines, which isn't that bad. Chaos Heroes are good in T1, very good in T2 and ok in T3. They have great anti-infantry upgrades, but they don't really have anti-vehicle upgrades and range upgrades. You simply have to play melee hero in T2. Chaos also has very nice global abilities, but they are very expensive, the cheapest one is over 100 red. They have nice support and summoning abilities and two nice directly damaging T2 globals. They are not very common and especially Noxious Cloud is very good. If you are not careful it can kill your entire army. Imperial Abyss is great anti-infantry nuke. There is no mark of using it and it appears in a way that can be very confusing. The center of Abyss is melting infantry incredibly fast. And chains can put infantry back inside sometimes your infantry. The biggest problem with Abyss is that it doesn't do very much to vehicles and cannot stop them in any way. Also the biggest damage is done only in the center, which is quite small. So all in all Chaos Space Marines are durable, flexible, has strong T2 heroes and nice global abilities. But at the same time they are expensive, have problems with snipers, etc. Need upgrades to be very good and their abilities, global abilities are expensive. And if you want to play range hero you won't find him here. So I think that's it for this guide. I will probably keep doing this type of guides for every faction and the next one will probably be Orcs or Imperial Guard. I don't know. <laughs> Stay safe guys and see you soon.